This is a brief video describing what will entail a water service replacement to the home. As you can see where the water comes up through the floor, we will have to open this floor approximately 12 inches wide, 18 inches back, so we can access the pipe to get a straight shot to pull it under the sleeve, under the footer, and sleeve it through the concrete to make sure it is actually going under the footer and not through it. As we come up, we have a flow lock coupling, which will go away. This is only used for big blue poly. We've got two shutoff valves, a shutoff valve and an isolation valve for the PRV. These will both be replaced. <laughs> Along with this, we have a couple code requirements that are you know, required to be met because this job will be permitted and inspected. Over here, you notice we have an electric water heater. There is no thermal expansion tank on there, so by code, we will need to add a thermal expansion tank or thermal expansion valve. Personally, I prefer a tank, that way you're not wasting water and money. This video will continue outside and we will go over the outside process of what will be required. 